Hello friends, uh, Dr. Arvind Shinivas here. Uh, this video is basically to address a few issues regarding the NEET uh, super specialty exam pattern that has been changed. Uh, in recent times, we have been coming across a lot of uh, super specialty aspirants who have either uh, given up preparation or who are so demotivated to prepare further after the NB announced the change in pattern. Uh, with the change in pattern, we know that like uh, there are going to be 150 questions all from a particular broad, super spe broad uh, field of speciality uh, in order to enter into a uh, super speciality course. So with this, many uh, postgraduates and people who have finished postgraduation who are from a different uh, super, uh, postgraduate uh, field of speciality like uh, say a person coming from an MD pulmonary medicine or uh, MD anesthesia and who wants to do a super speciality like MD critical care medicine, they are now supposed to read a completely different postgraduate course that is general medicine. Uh, similarly, a person coming from uh, MD pathology is now supposed to read MD general, uh, general medicine at the MD level in order to enter into clinical hematology. So this is going to put in a lot of stress on uh, super speciality aspirants who have had this dream of preparing for a particular super speciality course for a very long time and are now forced to read a completely different subject, which is pretty much understandable. Uh, but uh, there's no reason to stop your preparation because this is not something new. In the past, NBE has conducted uh, DNB super specialty examinations. In the past, I mean around 2016 and 17, when they conducted uh, DNB super specialty examinations uh, twice a year, and uh, it used to consist of 180 questions from uh, different uh, areas of general medicine. So it used to be at the level of PG exit level uh, general medicine. So it has happened in the past and people have cleared it. So there is no reason to say stay demotivated or uh, to give up your preparation. Similarly, uh, I know I understand that it is a bit difficult to start preparations when it's a completely new subject. But uh, once started, it usually takes off quickly. So it's pretty much possible. Similarly, for people from general medicine uh, who have all along for the past one or two years, people who have already been preparing for people who are repeating their uh, need super specialty examinations. Uh, for people who have kept on preparing for a particular broad specialty, like say for a, a DM cardiology, suddenly to go back and read only general medicine, it might be a bit difficult. So we are also in need of a source in order to make sure our, our preparation is comprehensive. So in both such uh, scenarios, I personally feel that we need a platform where you have a comprehensive and compact collection of questions in order to begin and end your preparation. Search test is exactly offering you that because for a, for a super speciality examination which is going to be at a PG exit level in general medicine, the questions are mostly going to be from Harrison's. That is what most of us assume or for a, we almost know that it is going to be from Harrison's. If not all the questions, at least 65 to 70 percent of the questions are going to be from Harrison's. The remaining 25 to 30 percent of the questions might be from super specialty textbooks like Bradley for neurology and Brownwood for cardiology and so on. So we need a right mix of questions so that we can we have the upper hand in order to prepare from all these varied sources. Of course, it's not very very much possible to read up all these sources at once, just two months before the examination. So we might have to have a source where we have all the collection of questions from all these sources. That is exactly what Search is offering you. We have around 2000 MCQs, all handpicked from these uh, from Harrison's and the other subspecialty textbooks, so that it makes your preparation much easier. Similarly, the explanation of each of these questions are uh, carry the edition and the page number and also the volume of the textbook that they have been picked from so that if you have a doubt, you can always go back and refer these standard references. So the chances of your preparation or the, the, the answer, your knowledge going wrong is going to be zero. So you'll always know the correct answers with the standard references, which is going to make your uh, preparation a much healthier one. So. Uh, what I would advise is, even if you are from general medicine or from any other background, if you are preparing for a subspeciality which is coming under the medicine group for the upcoming uh, NEED super specialty examination, it is always better to choose search test so that you have an upper hand in order to know the right questions, the right answers and from the standard references. So I wish you all a very a strong success in the upcoming NEED super specialty examinations and I wish you use, make use of the optimal source from search test. Thank you.